for tuning into this channel. If you're new here, welcome, and welcome to this Friday segment of Colorful Friday. Um, this is a segment, you guys, where I take an opportunity to pull one plant from my collection that I feel add a spark of color to my seed green. So let's just get right into it. As y'all probably have already noticed from the thumbnail, you guys, the plant that I will be discussing today will be the Calathea Burl Marks. Now, for obvious reasons, this plant is very gorgeous and it speaks high volumes to me. As you can see, you guys, who can deny that beautiful green or bluish green background or with the dark green and then to follow it up with the beautiful purple that Calatheas are known to provide. And I am a sucker for those colorful bags, you guys. But let's just get right into uh, the care. Now, Calathea, sometimes they can be tricky, but for me, um, from what I've experienced thus far with this plant, it's been very easy care. Um, now, I've had other varieties of Calathea in my collection, and I have killed them, trust me when I tell you. Uh, but I've had this plant for like six months, and I really haven't had any problems uh, with it. So let's just get right into it. The light. You guys, as far as Calathea, you know, they can be in a lower light situation. And I actually have this plant sitting on top of a baker's rack um, in my dining room where it's receiving some damp light from a east facing window and of course from a little bit of light from my Sansy light. So it seems to like it. I haven't had any issues with it at all. Now the soil. Now, I haven't changed the soil at all or this pot, you guys, uh, when I first brought it. Um, it's in its regular, uh, I'm trying to pull it out, it's kind of hard, I don't know. In its regular potting uh, mix that it was when I brought the plant. Now, from what I can see, you guys, it's just a basic soil in here and it has no perlite whatsoever. Um, and from what I've seen, would this be my plain medium of choice? No, but when it's not broke, so to speak, why well, try to fix it? Uh, so it doesn't have any perlite at all. It looks like it's just a regular potting soil. Um, and I just water, water it when need be, and I'm about to talk about that as well. But it seems to not provide me with any type of problem as far as aeration. So once again, I'm not gonna change the soil out unless I see the plant declining in some fashion. But let me talk a little bit about the water. Um, ranches, they do not like, I'm sorry, Calatheas or prayer plant uh, family, period. They do not like to dry out. Now, usually for like my Calatheas, I'm sorry, my Marantas, I usually don't wait to water it until the soil dries out for about one inch. But for this uh, particular plant, I do let it dry out for two inches of the soil. Quick way to test that theory, you guys, remember, the second knuckle, for those of you that has been watching uh, my channel, the second knuckle on your index finger represents two inches of soil. Just stick your finger in there and you can just test out the dryness of the soil. But by all means, this plant could be finicky. So just to make sure that you're precise, I can encourage you to use your moisture meter. And I water it when two inches of the soil is dry. Now, humidity. This plant, believe it or not, usually these plants are commonly known for being high on humidity, but I have it in an average um, humidity environment, and I have a, a actual thermometer where this plant is, and the common area of my house is usually 49 to 50% humidity, and it hasn't been giving me any problems, so I don't feel the need that this particular uh, collective needs a bump up in humidity. Now, pests, I haven't had any experience with pests, you guys, but um, two common household pests for this particular plant would be your mealybugs and your spider mites. And a quick way, you just want to do a quick survey of your plant every once in a while to ensure that um, your plant isn't being attacked by any of these pests. Um, so that pretty much sums it up, you guys. Uh, so this video is a very quick video, but I'm going to give you another look at this plant again. And if you've had experiences with uh, Calatheas and it didn't work out so well, you guys, I encourage you to try this plant if you don't have this plant. It may surprise you. And one thing too, you guys, um, 
now that it came to me in regards to the water. I'm using just my regular tap water. With my tap water in my home, I fill it up with my jugs and I let it sit out at least 24 hours before I water any of my plants. That's just my regimen. Um, but it doesn't, if you can just see for yourself, you guys, as I mentioned, I had this plant for about like five, maybe six months now. No crispiness of the leaves, believe it or not, which is crazy. So I'm really admiring the plant just based off of that alone. But as I mentioned, you guys, that pretty much sums up this segment for the Colorful Fridays. Please keep in mind, you guys, if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Any support you guys can give me um, on this channel, I would truly appreciate it. Enjoy your day, you guys, wherever you are in the world. And until next time, much love. Bye.